Hello, dear viewers. Hope you are doing good. Uh, today, I am going to show you the planning, positioning, and filming technique of the MRI SI joint. So, this is a very important MRI, and doctor advises regularly MRI SI joint. And because of the anatomical structure, it's a critical MRI for planning. So, without further ado, so let's start the MRI. So first uh, start with the patient positioning. Uh, position the patient in supine position, the head pointing towards the magnet, and position the patient over the spine coil and place the body coil over the pelvis and the coils upper upper region should be 3 inches above the iliac crest and the lower border should be on the symphysis pubis and center the laser beam 2 inches below the iliac crest so now go to the monitor and start the mri So let's introduce the protocols first. For MRI SI joint, uh, we, we choose these five protocols. And there is three axial protocols and two coronal protocols. The two T2 axial, T2 team axial or STR axial and T1 axial or transverse and two coronal t2 team coronal and t1 coronal so these five protocols are enough for si joint mri so no need for any sagittal protocol and now the localizer is scanning and will give us the primary image for planning And look at the this corner that the time is running of the scan. So I got three images from the localizer. One is sagittal and two axial. And I hope there is Oh, sorry, one axial and one coronal and one axial. The first one is the sagittal. The second one is the coronal and the third one is the axial localizer. And now we plan these protocols over this localizer images. And first, I am planning for the axial images. And for the axial image, plan on the sagittal image and coronal image. And on the sagittal image, the slices should be perpendicular to the sacrum. And on the coronal image, coronal image, the slices should be perpendicular to the sacrum. So this is the sacrum and the slices will be perpendicular. So let's complete the planning. I am increasing slice to 23. And click apply after planning. And I will copy the planning for the T2 team tra and T1 team tra from T2 transverse. For copying, 
slice and saturation. So first open the protocol you are planning. Like I here I am planning for T2 team XL. And then click on the protocol that from I want to copy. So, so click the right mouse button to appear this window and select slice and saturation. And then click OK. And now the slices will be copied from the T2 transverse to T2 team transverse. And then click apply. And if this notification comes, always try to remain normal mode and increase TR. And click OK. So my T2 team XL planning finished and now I am planning for T1 XL. And again, I will copy the plan from the T2 XL by copying slice and saturation and click OK. And if concatenation wants to increase, click OK. And the time will increase, no problem. The image will be in high resolution. And now I am planning for the coronal. And the T2 team coronal is open and I am planning on the sagittal image. So on the for that coronal image, plan on the sagittal image and axial images. So on the sagittal image, make sure that the slices or positioning blocks is parallel, is parallel to the sacral. For this, this is called the oblique coronal. This is an oblique coronal sequence. So you have to make sure that the slices are parallel to the sacrum. And also on the axial image, you have to make sure that the slices are parallel to the sacral era. So when finished, click apply and copy the planning for T1 coronal from T2 team coronal by selecting copy parameter and then slice and saturation visions and then click OK. And look at that the slices are parallel to the sacrum and click apply. So all my protocols have been planned for the scan and scan will be start one by one and look at my T2 axial images have shown in the box. So I will repeat this scan uh, because the patient move and the image is slightly blurred. So I am planning the scan again. And here is my T2 team axial images. This is good image, no movement and no artifact. And now I am printing for T2 team axial. I am viewing the images that the images is okay, no movement or motion artifact. And, and this is the SI joint. And this is the right SI joint and this is the left SI joint. I'm showing the SI joint here, left, right and left. Again, this is the right SI joint. And this is the left SI joint. This is the sacrum. And this is the iliac, iliac bone. This is the iliac bone and this is the sacrum. So for printing, I'm selecting the series and sending the series to film. <coughs> and in filming, there is two film. 
So I will change the film format because there is three extra films. So I will select the folder here and then change the layout to four into six. So now the all the images are, uh, are adjusted into one film. And there is remaining one empty box and I will give a reference image here. And I am adjusting the window. And there is a one empty box. This box is for reference image. So I will view the reference image by clicking the position display. So I get the reference image. This is the reference image for actual image and sending the image to filming. And in filming, this is the reference image. Sit here. And I will pop out the reference image from this box that's from this segment and zoom in the reference image. So this is the one axial T2 STR axial film that I will be print and click expose film tax for print. So this is the first film I printed. And now the T2 axial transverse that I repeat the scan because the first scan was a blur image because of the patient movement and these images has a very good clear image because I instruct the patient not to move. And this is the iliac bone and this is the sacrum and this is the left SI joint. And this is the right SI joint. And for printing, I'm selecting the series and send it to the filming. And on go to filming. And select the select two films and select the four into six layout because there is 23 images and one empty image for reference image. So I am adjusting the zoom pan and window. And now I will get the reference image of these axial images. And this is the reference image I get by clicking the position display series. The reference image will come. And you can shutter if you can or crop the image if you want from the tools. From this tools section, you will get shutter that will crop the image and send it to the film and adjust the zoom pen. So this is the second film I'm preparing. And after finish, then click expose to film to print. And to T1 XL running. And now I get the T1 XL image of SI joint. For printing, select the series and send it to the filming and then click filming and change the film layout to 4 into 6 because there is 23 images. And customize the text. I click this for the Lesson, lesson the text on the boxes. So I will again send the reference image to the filming for the last empty box of the film. This is the empty box. Adjust the images and add the, the also the reference image zoom pen and remove the reference image from this 
segment and click expose film tax and my third film has printed my three axial i printed the three axial film and my t2 team coronal has finished the scan and t1 coronal is running so this is the str coronal or team coronal of si joint So you can see that the image quality is very good and I'm printing the image by selecting the series and sending the series to filming. So I, I want to show you the SI joint that this is the right SI joint and this is the sacrum and this is the iliac bone so iliac and sacrum joints here and forming the right SI joint. And this is the left SI joint. This is the left iliac bone and this is the sacrum. And these two bones joining here forming the left SI joint. So this whole bone, this whole bone is the sacrum. So you have to know the anatomy very well. And this is the T1 axial, sorry, T1 coronal. And I uh, remove the patient from the machine because the scan has finished. So select series and send it to the film. Go to filming. And this is the coronal film, STR coronal. So I'm adjusting the zoom pen. So there is two film, I will delete one film. And now we'll print the film. <laughs> so I printed four films and now one film remaining. This is this is a T1 coronal. So I am viewing T1 coronal. So I will again uh, show, I will show the SI yes, joint again. So this is the T1 coronal and this is the sacrum bone sacral bone and this is the right iliac bone and this is the SI joint or right SI joint the sacrum and right iliac bone joints here and on the left side this is the left iliac bone and this is the sacrum and these two bones joints here and forming the left SI joint So for printing, select the series by right clicking the mouse and copy to film sheet for sending to film and then go to filming and on the film, the format is 4 into 5 because there is 20 coronal images. And slightly zoom in the image and adjust the window. and print the film. Thanks for watching this MRI session video. If you learn something, please subscribe my YouTube channel and like this video. And if you're on Facebook, please like and follow.